Hi there! I will show you how to create and how to use our new forms feature. We create this tool so that your company can create its own forms according to the company needs, being able to create forms related to invoice, quotes, jobs and also a generic one. So now let's create our form together. You can come down here in new form or hit this blue icon over here. The first thing you're gonna do is choose a name for your form and we are going to create a invoice form. Select the type invoice and hit create. So the first thing you're gonna see is this blank space over here. Let's imagine that is divided by four spaces and you need to choose how many spaces that you want to occupy with the information that you are going to add. So to add a new information, hit this plus icon over here. So now let's uh, choose the type of information that you are adding and this will be divided in data. So you're gonna to transfer your company info, your customer info and your invoice info. And then you have the option to create uh, some input information using a checkbox, drop downs, form inside of your form, text box, and the last one is the static one. Let's start importing some company info. And right here in field, you are going to choose which kind of info that you want to transfer. This will be transferred from your settings information that you already set up. Let's start with the logo. And right here, as I told you, choose how many spaces that you want to occupy with this information. You can choose one, two, three or four spaces. With the logo, let's occupy just one. Hit save. And here we go, that is your logo. Now the next information is going to occupy the next space. Hit the plus icon again. And let's add some info from your company. Here we go. You can choose which kind of info that you want to see in your form. Or you can hit this blue icon. So it's everything inside of your form. Here you have the option to hide the field names. So if you want to, you can add a label for your info. So your form will be more organized. And right here, you can hide border, remove content of your cell, remove header, or just leave the blank cell. So in this info, I'm gonna occupy three and I'm gonna align the test like that and hit save. Observe that uh, the info is not fitting right. So let's change the size. so you can fit better your info. So right now, let's add some information from your customer. And here you have the option to change the color or change your text color from the label, your bracket background color, your font size, your text style, and the same for the content. Now let's add some info from your invoice. You can choose which kind of info would you like to have displayed in your form. Put a label for that. and hit save. Now let's add some areas from your invoice. And now let's add some info from the payment. And for this one, I'm gonna occupy four spaces. And right now, let's add 
the activities info from your invoice. And now let's add some input. You can put your checkbox. And you can put some drop down. You can see all the options. Or you can just create a new one. And you have the option to put a form inside your form and that usually we use that when you want to add a header that you use a lot or a footer but since we already create the header for our form uh, let's jump for the text box so this option make you able to create a text box so when the form is done you have a space to add whatever text you need to and now let's add a static text through which you can leave written in your form for example uh, some terms And finally, let's add the last one, the option to collect a signature. And here we go, your form is done, just hit save. Now you can come to your list of orders, select a invoice since uh, the form we just create it's an invoice form and then you can come down here and select the form the, that you just create and here we go you can see all the informations from the invoice transferred to your form let's check the inputs so this one is the checkbox, this one is the drop down, this one is the text box, this one is the static test, and this one is the signature. Now you can generate a PDF of a form and use it as you wish. By clicking on this button, you'll be able to send it to your customer or your sellers by email for them to write down their signature. So now when you come back to your invoice, you can just check here your emails that you send for your customer or your sellers and have a look if they already check the email if they already sign so that's it if you have any question please contact us at info at thank you very much